hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you to all my subscribers those of you who just visit checks me out every now and then i appreciate you guys i hope y'all are having a wonderful day wherever you are evening night <laughs> hi guys so anyway i want to talk with you all about something and one of the things i want to say is that anyone out of all the gifts that god gives singing uh, music exhortation whatever gifts he may give to his children the one that is really really that's like there is no compromise on none of them are there should be any compromise really especially as far as us walking with following the lord being obedient to him but a big one is in the area of the prophetic and one of the thing about when you're being used in the air of the prophetic you're going to find that your life is going to be very different very disciplined your circle is very small if you even have a circle at all all right and then one of the things i'm going to say is what's very important is credibility and the fact that you are um an authenticity that's really really important why because anyone that's walking in the gift of prophecy you are basically saying the lord said okay there be when you're saying god said and this is what the lord revealed this is huge this is a big big huge huge deal and so therefore if you're speaking as an oracle from the lord there is no room for gray areas and you know just how oh, I, I i don't i don't know how to truly express it but what i will tell you is one of the thing that god is going to keep in place is credibility and authenticity that people know that when you speak this word and it's coming from the lord it's going to be certain and it's going to be sure now guys with that being said there's been a lot of back and forth and a lot that has happened right with the presidential election there's a lot of prophetic words about who is supposed to be the president and then of course the results came out and it was not donald trump right and so guys after that there were so many things that happened and i think that was the biggest thing that i saw was the not so much that okay you said it it didn't happen because you know we're all learning but the reactions i mean i saw stuff where i saw men and women who said that they were of god just got completely out of pocket they got very they were just as passionate just as vocal just as bent on proving that there was you know there's deception there was all the stuff that happened just like it was no different really than if you're watching the news or if you're listening to you know little talk shows or groups where people talk radio talk shows where they're talking about the president the presidential election i found it was like the same way if not more and then of course people started to say things about you know the president the current president dying i mean i heard so many different things guys and the 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 thing was just to look at the faces of these individuals and just to see it getting contorted and their lips is just angry and i was like you know what in all of this i don't see god i don't see the character of god here because one thing that because one thing that we know for sure guys is that when things get crazy the character of god is to be still the character of god is to stand in confidence and in peace God is not going to get us into a bunch of mess. And so I saw a lot of this going on across the board. Let me tell you something that I saw that was uniformed, at least what was what I saw a lot. We saw uniformed we saw uniformed um prophecy saying Donald Trump was going to win from certain people, right? Lots of prophets that were on high platforms those who were not prophets but they had platforms uniformly they were all saying the lord told me beyond a shadow of a doubt that this this that he is going to win this second he's going to have a second term he is going to win this election they weren't saying ballpark no one ever said whether it's set later on or not they were saying he is going to win this election okay so across the board you heard that being said and then what happened uniformly that i saw also is that when president biden won uniformly there was this nasty attitude like from a lot of them 
there were accusations uniformly from high profits. Okay. I mean, people who are, when I say high profits, I mean, they're well known. So across the board, there are accusations being hurled. All right. There were all this stuff being said. They were mad. They were defensive. All this stuff was going on. All right. And then uniformly, they started saying, oh, well, maybe, you know, I, God said this and it will be for perhaps the next four years or whatever. Now, guys, let me tell you what's the problem with all of that. Number one, it's like the, the, what's important with anyone who's saying that they're operating as a prophet and speaking from God, your decorum, that means your self-control, the way you conduct yourself, your manners. Your mannerism must be intact. You cannot get on this thing of, I don't think any prophet should ever just get on this platform of just their getting into arguments in the thread, turning people against others in the thread, getting really nasty. I saw that. A lot of nasty attitudes. All right. A lot of just blaming talking about the media and what happened and blah, 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 and talking about, you know, the, the Democrats and, and talking about this or talking about the Republicans. It was just like, okay, you guys are all up in the tea, just like any of the, 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 you know, any of the worldly platforms. So that is what I found a little bit disheartening guys. And so in all of it, I just went and I just prayed. And one of the things and I pray you guys will do the same thing. The Lord always spoke to me. What does my word say? What does my word say? What does my word say about this? And something recently happened again, guys, where I saw um, another video and this young lady was talking about some things. And of course, she's like, I know what the Lord told me and, you know, about Donald Trump winning and all these different things. And so, guys, what I found with that was. I, I, I prayed. I said, Lord, I know what you've said in my heart and what you've dealt with me and told me. And you say, my word does not lie. But one of the things that the Lord brought to mind and he said to me, which of my prophets have I ever, have I ever used to speak my word and it didn't come to pass? Okay. Which of my prophet have I ever spoken to and told them to do something and then I just surprised them and didn't do what I say I was going to do. Now, guys, there are instances where he gave me, he had me read about Isaiah. Isaiah the prophet went to Hezekiah to let Hezekiah know. Hezekiah was very sick. The Lord gave Isaiah a word and told him to go to Hezekiah and tell him that, told him to get his house in order and that he was going to die. When he, Then he left Hezekiah. Hezekiah, during that time, wept bitterly before the Lord and asked the Lord to give him more life, to have mercy on him. The Lord then decided that he was going to give Hezekiah 15 more years. Before Isaiah left the palace, the Lord spoke to Isaiah and told him to go back and to tell, to go back and to tell um, Hezekiah that he's going to give him 15 more years. Now, here's the thing. There was a change in the original prophecy that the Lord gave to, to Isaiah. But the thing was, the Lord also spoke and notified Isaiah of the change. And so therefore, Isaiah was not surprised, okay, to see Hezekiah still alive and going, oh, what happened? And then he has to be explaining what, what may be what the ballpark of what God was really saying. He let him know. Another one was with um, Jonah. The Lord told Jonah to go to Nineveh and let them know that in a certain period of time, he was going to destroy them. He was going to destroy them for their sins. Well, he went preaching the word and saying, this is what's going to happen. Well, the king of Nineveh, he became fearful and he repented and he called everyone to a fast. And so they repented and the Lord did not destroy the city. But guess what? The Lord also notified Jonah and told him, I'm not going to, I'm not going to destroy them. They repented. It was of such that Jonah got upset. He got very upset, right? And so you have to read that. What is my point? When God speaks a word, 
it's going to come to pass when it's from God. If there's a change, God is going to, no prophet is going to be surprised because God is going to speak that to them and they would have, um, he's definitely going to notify them and let them know, here's a change. You understand? But sometimes what happens is people can get very caught up in their gifts and sometimes people get very familiar they think they know the lord and they get so used to saying the lord said the lord said the lord said that they feel like yeah i've got this all figured out but something that the lord just showed me and i'm going to share with you all today is simply this what is very important with anybody who's saying that they're a prophet of god is their credibility and authenticity their character and the fruit that they're producing in the public eye and so the Lord is not going to have his prophets giving, not ballpark, but giving words and saying, this is going to happen during this time. And then it doesn't happen. And apparently none of the prophets are aware that there's been a change and then something else happens. And now they're angry and they're defending themselves, right? They're becoming defensive. And then they're saying, well, it must be this other time. This messes up the credibility big time. Everyone says, I know God does not lie. And I know God, this is, you're right. God doesn't lie, but something happened here. All right. And so I believe a lot of people have to be in a place to say, I may need to go back into my prayer closet. I may need to go back and change some things because even if the Lord planned to do something later on, he would never have created this little schism here to where the world begins to look at and question and scorn and laugh and ridicule people who say that they're prophets of God. The world's already looking for, 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 you know, chinks in the armor of us as believers of the Lord. But one of the thing is number one that I found disappointing it was the behavior, the defensive behavior, the rude, the nastiness, you know, speaking against the president of the United States that he's going to die and all these different things. And, Oh no, this is not God's way. Because one of the things that y'all have to realize is whoever was, when uh, Donald Trump was in office, Biden now passed the, he passed the Trump. <laughs> when Donald Trump was in office, oh, and Joe Biden, now President Joe Biden is in office, there are souls. So for people to be wishing death and making these things against them, y'all are losing it. Like losing it all together. This is, he, she, they are souls. You have to still keep praying for them. You cannot have that type of a venomous type of thing where, you know, you're wishing bad things will happen. And so guys, what I want to tell you is in all the noise and with everything that was going on, you have to look up. People have to look to God. And also, what does the word say about it? If a person gives a word and it doesn't come to pass, he says, do not be afraid of this person. They did not hear from me because if I say this is going to happen, then it's going to happen. In the old days, they would have been killed for giving false prophecy. If people could, would get killed for giving words that does not come to pass, you will see where, oh, there wouldn't be all this God told me. That happens all the time. God said. <laughs> And then what I also found very disheartening was when everything happened at Capitol Hill and all of that, I feel that regardless of whatever is true or what's not true, you still need to use discernment. I found a lot of people were steady going on and just talking so much in spite of the fact that people were killed, people had died. I found that there was even a certain level of just um, lack of sympathy, just tunnel vision on what they believe a prophecy said. And it, there was such an indifference to the lives that were lost. There was so much more focus on Donald Trump and what had happened to him and that he was treated so poorly and that he is being framed and all these different things. But very little was ever said about the people that lost their lives. 
this now this is from what I saw on many Christian platforms, I saw in the midst of people dying, having died, a few people, the people that died, one of the Capitol Hill officers that died, all of this that died, all of the individuals that died, people that got hurt, the focus was still on what they're doing to Donald Trump. Guys. That's what I found scary as believers. This is what I found scary that I saw. And the thing about Satan is he's so funny because he used things to turn the tables. And really the thing that people see, look at these people. They say they love God and they're hearing from God and they're talking to God. And yet they're so focused on what they consider to be an injustice that they're not even making mention of the people that have died. Now, the country, after a while, the flags were at half mass. But yet, during these crucial times of people dying, things being burned up, the focus was they've set up Donald Trump. And I know what God told me about him. What about all the carnage and things that was going on around? And so, guys, those things speaks volumes. And what really happens, guys, that's a religious spirit. It's a spirit that it don't care who's dying, who's fallen. The focus is, this is my point right here. And I don't care what else is going on around me. And some people say, no, that's not what we were doing. But I'm here to tell you, as I silently watch people on different platforms my heart is going out to the nation and what's going on and I was really shocked literally shocked to see people not saying let's let's pray for the country but going on about President Trump and the votes and a lot of them were people that say they were prophets So what does it boil down to? The credibility. And one thing the Lord says, anyone who claims to speak for him, they must have credibility. They must have empathy, sympathy, compassion. They must be just teeming with the fruits of the spirit. Sensitivity. Humility. And what God is never going to do is leave them hanging. Because when a person comes and says, the Lord said, it must be certain, it must be sure. It must, it can't be where people are going, yeah, okay, well, we know that may or may not happen. No, the Lord does not want that approach to him. It's sure. It's certain. And any time that there was any change to any word, that the Lord gave, the prophets were aware of it. They were not surprised. They did not take the people on a, on a, taking them down different rabbit holes of, oh, well, God said this. Well, God says this. Maybe he said that. We still have room to grow. We all have room to grow. And that should be a focus, getting before the Lord. Because many people are saying three years from now, it's going to be Donald Trump. He's going to get back in office. But what I'm, I'm very curious to see what happens three years from now. Because let's say we get to three years from now and he does not get elected again. Are you going to now tell the people something else? This is where your credibility as a prophet or even as a person that says you're a child of God is very important. Because people will not believe you. If you come across as one that cries wolf all the time, people won't pay attention to you. And God cannot use a vessel or use you if you are known to be making mistakes and then justifying your mistakes or getting very uh, defensive. Now, guys, some people say they're false prophets. Let me tell you what I believe. False prophets, I believe, are those who come intentionally to deceive. And I believe there could also be people who gets it wrong. And they are still teachable and they are still able to
prophesy in the future. But false prophets are those, they're wrong and strong sometimes, okay? And they're rude and they're nasty. I think anytime you see a prophet that's ready to cuss you out and carry on with the, and, and go and you don't know me and doing all that, mm -mm. there's still room, still room to grow. But I truly believe that if even if someone gets a word wrong, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a false prophet. That's just my thoughts. I feel that they're well-meaning individual that will be doing the work of God and they get something wrong and then they need to be humble and go back to the Lord and say father where did I go wrong and so they're teachable they're moldable and they can still be used for the glory of God but there are those that they're very prideful they're going off of they all you know they like to talk about all the, the stuff that all their accurate prophecies in the past if you have to come out with a portfolio your prophetic portfolio something is wrong with that because God doesn't even allow us to do that. That's not his character to say, let me show you all the things I've done in the past. They either believe or they don't. And I'm here to tell you, saying that something is is confirmation of certain things, I'm here to tell you that the devil, the false prophet that's going to be cast into the lake of fire with Satan in the end can also give confirmation on things they can give accurate things that's why you find mediums and so many people they're sought out and they're on television because they can tell you things that nobody else will know and they'll say things and certain things will happen so you got to figure out who are you hearing from because to some degree Satan can do that same thing that's why mediums are sought out and, and psychics are sought out and then there's God who is the source of all things so there's a very thin line between that and really it boils down to the heart. So my brothers and sisters, always look to God, always seek him out. Don't get confused with all the noise and what people are saying. Don't allow that to cause you to fall away from God because you're not going to be able to stand before God and say, oh, well, Lord, I decided not to be a Christian because look at all these prophets that said that Donald Trump was going to win and then it was Joe Biden and now it's all this confusion. What does that have to do with your relationship with God? You understand? So my brothers and sisters, I always encourage people, read your Bible, read it thoroughly, ask the Lord to open up your understanding so you can comprehend scripture correctly and just take your time. Start in Matthew and go to Revelation and then go to the Old Testament, start in Genesis and go to Malachi. Take your time. Don't push yourself hard. Ask the Lord to show you and reveal himself to you. Walk in obedience. Take time to get into the presence of the Lord. And I guarantee you, he'll begin to show you the truth. And I'll end this by saying, the Lord left the word by saying, if a prophet tells you that such and such is going to happen and it does not come to pass, then I have not spoken it. And that's all we have to go by. All right, guys.